Welcome back to Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back here in St. Andrews, Florida right now at the 19th annual St. Andrews Mardi Gras. Here right now with an old friend of the show, Jan Cox. As you can see, Jan has already been imbibing this morning and it's still only what, uh, 10.30, 11 o'clock? No, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Somewhere. It is 5 o'clock somewhere. You guys are having way too much fun with this event. 19 big years. It just seems like yesterday, 1997, you guys sat down and said, how can we make Mardi Gras more inclusive of all of Panama City? Tell me a little bit about what we're doing out here today. Well, really what we do is try to bring people back into St. Andrew, have a good, family-friendly, awesome, fun, just explosive day. There is nothing uh, scary about this. It's fun, it's friendly, and who doesn't love beads? At the end of the day, you bring over 40,000 people to this event over a two-day period. The economic impact alone is huge. You've got a lot of people spending money, even if they're only buying gasoline when they're coming or going, many of them having meals, many of them going to other businesses, the Panama City Mall, all the way exactly. out to the beach. Exactly. So the economic impact is huge. But let's first of all talk about you guys. Uh, the crew of St. Andrews is actually the proprietor of this event, but you've got multiple crews here. How many crews do you have participate? Do you have any idea? Probably around 15, maybe 20. But the biggest thing is the crew of St. Andrew puts about $50,000 every year back into Bay County. We do scholarships, we promote charities, we promote uh, mammograms, Bay Radiology. There are a lot, we have a lot of fun, but we do a lot of really good, meaningful, impactful things for Bay County. Yeah, and, and that's our pride and joy. Yeah, absolutely. And all while having a good time. I was kidding with somebody just a few minutes ago saying that uh, this is the last day of the, of the two-day event, but tomorrow or the next day you guys will be planning for the next one. We absolutely will. This is a year-round effort. We go all year round. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of good. We will be here tomorrow morning cleaning up with the barricades and the garbage cans and you know, yes, we we want uh, we want people to come out, just have a lot of fun, spend some money, relax, enjoy, be with your family, your friends, and you know, just it's so silly and fun. It's our big grown-up cartoon, and we love it. Well, this, these people don't need a whole lot of encouragement to do just that. Yesterday we were here, yes. enjoyed the pet parade and the children's parade. How huge, fun is that? Huge opportunity That's in my itself. my favorite. Well, I had a lot of people, as far as bystanders, say that they came yesterday when it was safe to bring all their kids out. Absolutely. In reality, the only unsafe part about today, in my in my opinion, is that you got huge crowds, so you're going to have to really keep a close watch on your kids. You might get run over. Easy to get. But... Uh, no, but I'll tell you, that was the other thing I was going to say, is from a safety point of view, you guys have wheel walkers who we walk do. beside every float. So really, safety, you guys have a fine eye on. Uh, We've and got I was the barricades, we have wheel walkers, we have the participation of police, and we want everyone to be safe, have a lot of fun, get a lot of beads, spend a lot of money, come back next year, and yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's awesome. We're going to kick off today, 2 o'clock, uh, for the main yes, parade. But then we've got live entertainment, we've got food, we've got vendors, we've got street entertainers all day long. What time does this wrap up tonight? About 10 o'clock tonight. Okay. So you've got all day, all night, you know, food, fun, family, vendors, um, music, just unbelievable. And what... A blessing of a day. It's a gorgeous day. It doesn't get any nicer than this. As a matter of fact, I joked, you can have all four seasons today. If you stand over there in the shade, it's kind of cool. Over here in the sunshine, it's uh, downright it's warm. warm. And, but uh, I'm telling you, when I start throwing those beads, it's going to be midsummer. <laughs> Jan, thanks for taking the time. Thanks more importantly for being a part of uh, Crew of St. Andrews and for all the good works that you guys do. Um, we're going to do another interview uh, talking just about those uh, scholarships and all of that uh, charitable work that you uh, guys do. Thanks so much. Sometimes people look at this as a party. It is, but it's for all for a good cause. So it's, thanks for being here. It's a party, but we party with a purpose, and we put back lots and lots. And we just want people to have fun and, you know, be a family, relax, enjoy. That thanks says so much. That says it all. We're here at the 19th annual St. Andrews Mardi Gras right here in St. Andrews, Florida, part of Panama City. If you've never been here, don't uh, forget to add that to your bucket list. It's one that you're not going to want to miss. We'll be right back.